Hey guys, and welcome to Stratic. After a few weeks with Lenovo Yoga Convertible Laptop, I would like to share my experience with you. It will be some kind of comparison between Windows and Linux. My focus will be, as in previous video with first impression, on tablet mode. But I will also mention some hardware, software and performance aspects. In the end, you will find out whether I regret my decision buying Yoga 9 or not and whether I would recommend this laptop to you. So, keep watching! My current configuration included Triple Boot with Manjaro, Windows and Ubuntu. I even managed to customize grab screen resolution to make the select menu readable, changing out of 4K resolution to 1024 to 768. If you want to find out which resolutions are supported by your screen, turn on your laptop, at the Grub menu, press C to get the Grub command line, type video info. This lists all the modes, it is the width to height. You need to make note of. Then boot up fully and go to the terminal and switch to root user. Or use just sudo. In order to change the grub resolution, go to etc default. The line we are looking for is now called grub gfx mode and is set to auto. As you can see, I already created a backup of the original grub file and another one with grub gfx mode set to lower resolution. So just set grub gfx mode to your desired mode. Then run update grub and reboot. As you can see, I successfully changed the grub screen resolution to 1024 to 768. In my previous video, I mentioned that Manjaro has been my favorite Linux distribution and that Manjaro didn't support a convertible laptop with touchscreen out of the box. Fortunately, I found a great Arch Linux wiki article that aggregates information to get Arch Linux working on a tablet PC. I follow the instructions and install appropriate drivers for stylus and screen rotation. I've tried few on-screen keyboards and decided for an onboard because it offered the best customization options. In this article you'll find how to set automatic rotation with GNOME and KDE desktop. I also installed Tachek. It is a multi-touch gesture recognizer. It can recognize up to five fingers gestures. Tap, drag, pinch and rotate. In addition, you need to share, which serves as a desktop application to configure Tajik. The conclusion is that I was able to install all necessary drivers and programs for using yoga in a tablet mode. Link to the article is in the video description. Screen rotation is working, but it is not that fast and smooth like on Windows and Ubuntu. It is definitely something that can be optimized. Or maybe there are additional settings that I am still missing. So if you know how to speed up the rotation, please let me know in the comments. The pen is working well and can be used like mouse without touching the screen. I don't see here any limitation in comparison to Windows. Don't forget that Manjaro KDE Desktop is not a native tablet operating system. Still, it's pretty good to use. Now convince yourself.
Regarding to limitations on Manjaro, Lenovo Yoga 9 15 IMH5 has two bottom speakers and a rotating soundbar. Unfortunately, there is no bottom speaker support in Linux. Without bottom speakers, the sound spectrum is not that wide and the overall sound is much better in Windows. There are also no Linux drivers for the fingerprint reader. To sum up, I can recommend Lenovo Yoga 9 15 IMH5 depending on what you want to use it for. It is definitely not the best choice if you are searching for a tablet. Better choice would be an iPad or maybe an Android tablet. It's a powerful machine for everyday tasks, for video editing, programming, content creation and gaming, combining also functions of a tablet. The biggest problem here is that there are no operating systems that natively support tablet mode for such devices. Overall, it's a great universal laptop and I don't regret buying it. I hope my review can help you if you are considering buying Yoga or another convertible laptop and if you also want to use it with Linux. I am thrilled that I can continue using Manjaro as my daily driver, even if I have to accept the loss of fingerprint reader and bottom speakers. Thank you for watching and see you next time.